I'm Bo Turner from Avitech Solutions, now merged with Imaginic Technologies and product director for the Avitech Utilities for Revit. In this session, we'll be covering the latest utilities available for the Autodesk Revit platform. This includes Revit Architecture, Revit Structure, and Revit MEP. Each of these tools was made with one goal in mind, to save you time in your project through automation. Using the Change Case utility, you can instantly match your company or client standards for annotation casing as uppercase, title case, or lowercase. This tool scans your model and automatically fixes these casing issues to whichever standard you specify. You can change the way that annotation is formatted for room names, text notes, view names, and the view title on sheet. You start by selecting the type, the desired casing format you'd like to use, and how you'd like to apply this. By applying, you can either base it on a currently selected set of entities, you can do it on a level-by-level -level basis, or across the entire project model. For items that have more detail, you can further isolate this using a filter. In our case here, we're using the view names, and we can select all the views at once, or we can isolate it, such as all the floor plans, all the 3D views, all the elevations. Once we have that selected, we can tell it to go out and scan, and then to go in and correct it. If there's any manipulation or adjustments we need to make, we can do this in the window here before we go ahead and hit the Change button. Using the Content Browser utility, we have a web browser built inside of Revit that can connect to industry content sites or your own internal site. All in one step, you can download content store it in the proper library, rename it, and load it into the current model. Here we're connecting to Revit City, we've chosen our content that we'd like to download, and we're selecting the library location and our subfolder. Going to go ahead and rename this so that it's easier to identify, and we have the option here to choose to load this right into our project. With our piece of content now downloaded, we can place this inside of Revit using standard native tools. And we've done all of this without ever having to leave the native Revit environment. Using the Earth Connector utility, we can take our Revit project and publish the model out for use within Google Earth. To get started, we need to define which entities we want to publish, as well as any project orientation adjustments that may need to be made. If you're making use of phases, you can transfer project phases to show within Google Earth using the time span feature. Doing this allows you to use the slider in Google Earth to display those phases in the project. And this can be useful to convey visually what is planned for a project or a site. The Google Earth file that we published can be shared via email or other method with people that you'd like to view the project details. Using the orientation tools of Google Earth, we can rotate and orient our views as desired. If your project location has 3D buildings already created, which is expanding every week, you can turn these on using the Layers 3D Building option. This allows you to view your project as well as any other nearby 3D structures that may already exist. Under the Places section, you can turn the display of the project on or off, as well as to drill further down into the data tree and turn on and off specific entity categories or the entities themselves. When exporting, you are asked if you'd like to publish parameter data. If this was chosen, it will be displayed in this tree as well. Watch your building come together phase by phase within Google Earth using the Earth Connector. The Room Renumber utility allows you to easily renumber existing rooms or insert new rooms and increment subsequent affected rooms with the push of a button. When renumbering existing rooms, you can choose room by room the desired order that you like. You can window select the rooms that you want or select rooms only shown within the current view. With that done, you can select your increment numbers, starting numbers, and a proposed sequence as well as manually making any adjustments as needed.
Using the Element Renumber utility, you can enjoy the same kind of capabilities as our long-standing Room Renumber tool, but with other element types like grids, levels, doors, windows, and spaces. You can either renumber based on a selected order or insert a new number and shift the existing ones. Here we're renumbering grid lines. Pick the order for numbering that you wish to use. Select the starting value and adjust the increment to match your standard. You can now view the proposed numbering and if needed make any additional edits. When you are satisfied with the numbering you can apply this to the project. The door mark update utility matches the door mark with the room number and allows you to inspect it and override the suggested marks as well as to configure user specified suffixes when more than one door exists for a given room quickly and easily. Room phase copy utility more Revit users are employing Revit phases to represent as-built information or multiple phases for projects. But with this limitation of Revit rooms being limited to a single phase, this means that rooms have to be created for each of the corresponding phase. The Room Phase Copy tool makes it easy to copy rooms from one phase to the same location in another phase and push updates on an ongoing basis. With the Grid Select utility, you can create a selection set of Revit elements based on their relation to grids. Select walls, columns, beams, and more. Choose the current level or all levels and select entities that are either collinear along the grid line or entities touching the grid geometry. With the parameter copy utility, you can easily copy information between parameters across the whole Revit model. Whether moving parameters for type to instance, host to element, room to component, or even just switching to a new parameter, this utility takes a grueling task and makes it easy. Using the MEP Parameter Tool utility, we can update parameters across an entire piping or mechanical system in Revit MEP. We can configure the firm's parameters either as single values to update across the system or based on the size of each element. This utility comes in handy when updating parameters like insulation thickness, lining thickness, and system types. Here we have a different sized pipes and we're adding a common insulation thickness to all portions of that MEP system and updating information to the defined parameters. Using the Space Update utility, you can seamlessly transfer room names and numbers from the linked Revit architecture model to the Revit MEP model, eliminating tedious manual input of room names and numbers in different places. Our experience in software development and professional consulting helps to bring these tools to you and other passionate Revit users all over the world. In addition to these utilities, we have several other commercial products as well as offering custom software development services for private organizations. If you have an idea or a need for a utility, we would love to talk with you further. All it takes to start the process is to contact us.